Okay, welcome back everybody. Uh, we're out here at the range today. We have a visiting staff member, Kraken has shown up, and he's brought a rifle with him. And it's a rifle that I've heard about for close to 30 years. I've never actually seen one, in, well, even fondled one in person. It's a, it's a bolt action rifle made by Ed Brown. Now this is gonna come as a surprise to a lot of you, but Ed Brown, back in the day, old man Ed Brown, used to make rifles. Um, as I recall, Ed kind of got into doing that because he was a hunter and he wanted a rifle that kind of more fit his personality and his needs. So what are we looking at here? This is got a proprietary action by Ed and he calls it the 704, right? Kraken 704? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. It's uh, the 704 action. So basically this is a hybrid between the Remington 700 and the Winchester Model 70. And so what it is, is it's kind of got, I'm guessing here a little bit, oh, it's good. Uh, I'm guessing here a little bit, but it's basically machined a little bit like a Remington 700, but he's got a, a bolt that's set up like a Winchester Model 70. For example, he's got a three position safety. So there's a, let's see. So there's fully back is safe. Middle is safe, but you can open the action and forward is fire. The thing that's kind of important on these is on safe, it locks the bolt. Now, not every Remington 700 does what I'm about to describe, but one thing I'm not a big fan of and why I prefer Winchester Model 70s is if you're carrying a gun for a long distance, slung over your back, going through brush doing whatever, sometimes you'll find they'll unsling their, you know, they'll unsling their rifle and their actions open. And so even in the military, you'll see some guys, on, at least in the old days, on patrol, who would literally tie their bolt down. And so that, I'm not a big fan of that. And apparently Ed was not either. So he wanted an action that would lock the safety or lock, lock the bolt. The other thing Ed did, let's show this, is Ed put in controlled feed extraction, but he has two extractors, not one. See, it's a two lug system. Also, it is a fluted bolt. And I will say this, let's go ahead. It cocks on open, cycle the action. But one thing about Ed's action is it is extremely smooth. You can't obviously experience that on video with me, but I'm telling you, opening up this action compared to say, my old FN SPR A3G, which is a custom shot gun, I mean, this thing makes that gun, the action, I mean, look like a, a cheap Walmart copy. So um, this is a old, an old style Macmillan stock, uh, Pacmar decelerator butt pad. It has old style, uh, you know, sling, sling point, hard points. So you have to put a Harris bipod on this or make some modifications. Now this gun is fairly heavy. We weighed it at 13.9. 13 pounds. 13? 13.9 pounds. Yeah, 13, 13 pounds, nine ounces. And most of that weight, not all of it, because the stock isn't gonna be that light, comes from the Shylan barrel. This is a heavy taper barrel. That's one thing I personally would probably kick Ed on, would be he liked heavier barrels. He came from a generation that basically thought the heavier the barrel, the more accurate it was. And you know, yeah, I don't know if I quite agree with that, but you know, I'm not the person ultimately judge that. Also, you will notice back in the day, no threaded, no options for threads, no muzzle devices, just a straight crown. So Kraken has expressed possibly an interest in threading this, but we'll see how that goes. And I guess for the two big things about this gun that are worth mentioning is it is in 300 wind mag, so it is a long action. However, you ran into this for a scope base. This uses a custom scope base because it's a custom action. You just can't buy a Winchester scope base or a Remington scope base. You got to buy a custom scope base from, who'd you get the scope base from? Uh, I don't recall. I can look it up. I'll put it, we'll drop we'll, it in. We'll drop it later. We'll drop it in the video at the bottom. And uh, so, you know, I mean, that's kind of an issue. Also looking at the extractors, I would think long-term if you broke one of those, I hope Ed Brown still makes them. And, uh, the other final thing is, we were debating this on off camera. The trigger pull on this gun 
is I don't like to guess super light triggers because it's kind of subjective and we didn't come out here to actually measure it. We're going to safely say between two and a half and three pounds, but in my heart of hearts, I would not be surprised if we measured this trigger and it comes in much closer to two pounds. It is a crazy light trigger. So, but that is what you want on a target rifle. So the, this is a used gun that Kraken got. We, he has not shot it. I don't, we haven't even bore sighted it yet. We're going to try to get it on steel and uh, we'll follow up with some video here in a minute.